China, the world's largest consumer of iron ore, is strategically diversifying its resources away from heavy reliance on Australia and Brazil. Iron ore, one of the most essential elements that powers our modern world. From the towering skyscrapers in bustling cities to the cars we drive, this mineral is the backbone of industrial civilization. But did you know that two countries, Australia and Brazil, hold the keys to the world's most significant iron ore deposits? And there's a growing body of research that links these two powerhouses in a way most of us would never imagine. How did these two distant lands, separated by vast oceans, come to share such rich deposits of iron ore? The Global Iron Ore Landscape Iron ore is the primary raw material used to produce steel, and steel is indispensable to construction, manufacturing, and heavy industry. Globally, the demand for iron ore is immense. Over 2.5 billion metric tons of iron ore are produced annually, with Australia and Brazil being the top two producers, collectively accounting for more than 60% of the world's supply. Australia, with its vast Pilbara region, and Brazil, home to the massive Carajas mine, are the world's iron ore giants. But what's even more fascinating is the geological link these two regions might share. Could it be that the rich iron ore deposits of these countries were once part of a single ancient landmass? How Australia and Brazil connect. Let's embark on a 180 million year journey through time. Back then, Earth's continents were merged into a colossal landmass called Gondwana. Australia and South America were once neighboring territories, linked by expansive tracts of land before continental drift tore them apart. A fascinating discovery emerged from recent geological studies. The iron ore reserves in Australia and Brazil exhibit striking similarities hinting at a shared origin. When both regions were part of Gondwana, identical conditions forged these deposits. This raised an intriguing possibility that the ancient forces that molded Australia's Pilbara Craton may have also sculpted Brazil's Carajas deposits. The two regions, now separated by vast oceans, potentially stem from the same primordial source. Tectonic shifts, volcanic activity, and mineral accumulation likely influence both areas similarly. This revelation underscores the profound impact of Earth's ancient history on its modern landscape. Exploring Australia's iron ore wealth, the Pilbara region. Australia's Pilbara region is located in the Northwest, boasts an extraordinary wealth of iron ore, significantly impacting the global economy. The area's mines are the linchpin of Australia's iron ore industry, thanks to deposits containing some of the world's highest grade ore. But what led to this region's remarkable mineral endowment? The answer lies in Pilbara's ancient geological past. Approximately 2.5 billion years ago, during the Archean Eon, iron accumulated in layers of primordial seabeds, gradually forming vast ore bodies T. This era saw the Earth's atmosphere in its formative stages. Interestingly, research suggests that the geological forces that molded Pilbara may not be exclusive to Australia. Scientists propose that similar processes shaped South America's mineral landscape during the Gondwana era, revealing a potential connection between these two regions. Brazil's iron giant, the Carajas Mine, Deep within the Amazon rainforest, Brazil's Carajas mine stands as a behemoth of iron ore production. As the country's largest mine and one of the world's biggest, it boasts an astonishing wealth of high-grade iron ore deposits. Remarkably, Carajas shares striking geological similarities with Australia's Pilbara region, formed under comparable conditions. What sets Carajas apart is its immense scale and exceptional ore quality. With an annual production capacity of 100 million tons, this mine supplies premium iron ore to nations worldwide. The striking parallels between Carajas and Pilbara have captivated scientists, raising intriguing questions. Did these two regions once share a common ancestry linked by ancient tectonic forces? 
The connection between Caracas and Pilbara presents a compelling puzzle, sparking intense scientific interest. How tectonic plates shape these deposits? The potential link between Australia and Brazil's iron ore deposits is rooted in plate tectonics. Massive crustal slabs, known as tectonic plates, have reshaped continents over millions of years through slow movement, collisions, and separations, creating valuable mineral deposits. As part of Gondwana, Australia and Brazil experienced similar tectonic forces leading to the formation of rich iron ore deposits. Continental drift then separated the two regions, with Australia moving east and South America west, forming the Atlantic Ocean. Remarkably, apart from being thousands of kilometers apart, these regions retain a profound geological connection. The evidence lies in the comparable iron ore types, hematite and magnetite, and identical geological processes that shaped their formation. The role of volcanism, fire, and metal. Volcanic activity was a pivotal factor in shaping the iron ore deposits in Australia and Brazil. Approximately 2.5 billion years ago, Earth's surface was characterized by intense volcanic activity, releasing vast amounts of iron into ancient oceans. This iron eventually settled, forming iron-rich sedimentary layers. Both regions' deposits are thought to have originated from this process. In Western Australia's Pilbara, colossal volcanic eruptions created iron ore layers later exposed through tectonic uplift and erosion. Similarly, Brazil's Corregious Mine sits in an area where ancient volcanic activity contributed to its rich iron ore reserves. The notion that volcanic forces shape the destinies of two nations on opposite sides of the globe adds a captivating narrative twist. It highlights how Earth's turbulent past has yielded the resources essential to modern society. Global Impact Supply Chains and Economies Australia and Brazil's iron ore deposits are more than geological wonders. They're economic linchpins. Together, they control the global iron ore market, supplying essential raw materials to industries worldwide, particularly in Asia, Europe, and beyond. Australia primarily exports iron ore to China, the world's largest steel consumer, while Brazil supplies China, Europe, and the United States. The extracted ore from Pilbara and Carajas mines is transformed into skyscrapers, bridges, vehicles, and household appliances. However, this dominance comes with challenges. Both nations heavily rely on iron ore exports, making their economies susceptible to global demand fluctuations. Recent shifts in Chinese steel production and emerging alternative materials have introduced uncertainty into the market. This raises a critical question. Can Australia and Brazil sustain their iron ore dominance amidst evolving global economic trends? The future of iron ore exploration, new discoveries and technologies, even though struggling with the uncertainties there is still tremendous potential for future iron ore discoveries. Advances in geological mapping, remote sensing, and mining technology are opening up new possibilities for exploration. In both Australia and Brazil, scientists are using cutting-edge tools to search for hidden deposits, many of which are located in remote or previously inaccessible areas. In Australia, companies are exploring deeper deposits beneath the surface of the Pilbara, while in Brazil, researchers are investigating untapped regions of the Amazon. But it's not just about finding new ore bodies. Mining companies are also investing in technologies that make extraction more efficient and environmentally friendly. There's also growing interest in green steel, produced using renewable energy instead of traditional fossil fuels. This could reduce the environmental impact of steel production creating new opportunities for both Australia and Brazil to lead the way in sustainable mining. A geological connection that spans millions of years. The iron ore deposits of Australia and Brazil are more than just economic powerhouses. They are the legacy of ancient geological forces that shaped our planet millions of years ago. From the formation of the Gondwana supercontinent to the volcanic activity that enriched the land, 
these two regions share a deep and fascinating connection. As we look to the future, the question remains, how will Australia and Brazil continue to evolve as leaders in the iron ore industry? Will new technologies unlock even greater reserves? And how will these two nations adapt to a world that is increasingly focused on sustainability and reducing the environmental impact of mining? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain, the story of Australia and Brazil's iron ore deposits is far from over. The world of iron ore is as dynamic as it is ancient, and the links between Australia and Brazil give us a glimpse into Earth's deep history. As these two nations continue to shape the future of global mining, their shared geological past reminds us of the powerful forces that bind us all together, no matter how distant we may seem. If you found this journey through Earth's deep past and industrial present fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support helps us bring more content like this to you. Thanks for watching. Do share your thoughts in the comment section.